Hello everyone. So okay, I'm my cold is slightly better, and I'm gonna watch a Kabul. Oh my god, Kabila, Kabila's dangerous hunt 2011, a cursed hunting game. Um, <laughs> this came like what? This came. Oh my god, this came 16 days ago, and oh yeah, I'm watching it now. Um, apologies for my voice. And. Jesus guys, I, I've been I've been a lot busy. I, I I assume I'm going to watch more videos and then like twenty bugs get introduced and then like uh, I actually got invited to join a project for Baldur's Gate Three, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, uh, like making stuff as a team. But again, I little time is it's insane. It's getting absurd. But yeah, Caballeras Dangerous Hunt 2011. That game was fun, I mean, the, the game that he reviewed previously, Cabular's Dangerous Hunt, was that the same? Or is this the new one? Oh god. It's a safari, alright. Who doesn't bring C4 to the safari? Oh my god! <laughs> Last Halloween, many were exposed to Cabela's Dangerous Hunts for the very first time. Dangerous Hunts 2013 is a magical game. Summed up, it's the story of a psychopath out to kill any animal oh, larger than his car keys, with underlying strange lore implications the whole way through, and it's all through the lens of a major retailer. I that said that I thought it was sucks. the greatest hunting game ever made, and I still think that. But people did ask, why not do Dangerous Hunts you 20 with <laughs> strange okay. lore implications the whole way through? Look, the camera, the camera of the uh, um, first person and the second... You can you can make a role not come in the third person like that and just basically destroy the immersion. You can make it happen in the first person like Cyberpunk does. And it's all through the lens like, of a major retailer. I, mean, I said that I thought it was the greatest hunting game ever made, and I still think that. But people but did does, ask, does, why not do Dangerous Hunts 2011 first? There oh, are yes. a few reasons for that. For one, I knew the game had some sequences that are basically the test versions of the 2013 ones. The game plays a lot more like a traditional rail shooter, and oh. unlike 2013, it never came to PC. And emulation had its own pile of quirks. Well, that's but with shit. time, all has healed, and we can oh. properly enjoy this 2013 companion piece. Just be warned, this may have only raised more questions. What? Okay, let's take it from the top. What well, the just fuck? like 2013, the main menu music is incredibly Indian? honest. Ah, that's what we like to see in hunting games around here. Menu music that gives me fond memories of the alien opening. I can't wait to see what my favorite sporting oh, goods store shit. has for me this time. Anyways, the special edition has is, the option is, of cartoon mode. Weird. The definition of cartoon what? here is loose. If you want everyone to look unfinished and terrifying, I guess I could recommend it. But we're gonna skip- Where are the fucking eyes, man? Where are the eyes? Eyes. If this our first way through. Joker. There is Red, something what? familiar Red, about that the picture, egg. but we'll worry about it later. New campaign, normal difficulty. Oh. Keep your voice down and watch your step. Wait, there is New gallery. Leave what the gallery levels and like are you sure not? Oh. Basically your gallery means campaign, new time, normal so. difficulty. It's not a hint I gave you the gallery. Down is it? And watch your step. I don't want this thing to hear us coming. Oh, no. Alright. Headlamps on. Huh. Oh God. Didn't bet on the cold open in the subterranean elephant graveyard. Or maybe something else. I actually love this fucking Get a load of that. And gather we aren't the first hunters to come this way. This is so much better. This opening is so much better than the family thing. And this is where you get your first meeting with the control scheme. You look around and aim like a rail shooter, but you still control your legs separately. Which oh is about God. as awkward like... as it looks. But it does give it some advantages over 2013, which I'll talk about a little later. This reminds me of Corpus Party Book of Shadows. No, not even that. Job. Oh my god. It's so much better than Corpus Party Book of Shadows. You can move. Um, you can run. You're not paying us enough. What was that? Behind you. <laughs> that you sounds like a hyena. Hyenas? Vikafta is hunting us. Take it easy, Mbeki. Oh, I don't thing. believe That's in a fairy tales. Hyena. It's probably just. Dude, tri triangle I've got all about this. outside. Why do you have to this inside? Oh my god, you fucking moron, I told you. There are three of you, each of you gets like 70% of theory. Use it, fucking hell. Oh my god. 
Low texture better right, have sir. killed us. Get ready. Cabela's Spring Great Outdoor Days is here. It's our biggest sale and event of the season <laughs> yeah. with huge discounts and the latest gear from all your favorite brands. It had been years since I'd last set foot on Americans my family's so land. Lucky. My father was never an easy man to get along with, but I knew how much this hunt meant to him. I had no idea what was waiting for us in those cold woods. No idea that my life was about to change forever. So this all fed into a 20 year time skip, where you listen to an old man marvel at nature over Lord of the Rings music. It's a bit jarring after the cryptid attack and brooding Troy Baker. The first time we walked these yeah, woods, that, I love that you part. boys were just pups. And I had to carry you up the trail on my shoulders. <laughs> you wanted to hold my rifle, but your hands were too small for the trigger. Hang on, what? there is some unpacking Don't to do, but me. that voice. Don't fucking let the kids touch the rifle at all. You want the buck, oh, but God. you don't have a shot yet. That's Dad from 2013's yeah. voice. Oh, like, shit. He's speaking a little more folksy, and the microphone isn't quite up to snuff, but <laughs> it's him. I checked. I guess they just had him play the dad Jasmine across Price. both games. He's Jasmine. starting off. I guess they just had him play. He's speaking a little more folksy, and the microphone isn't quite up to snuff, but it's him. I checked. No, oh, Jameson. Jameson's prince. Yes. I Price. guess they just had him play the dad across both games. He's starting off strong this round. Regaling us with a story about how his young son wanted to hold his gun, but his fingers were too small for the trigger means that he tried that shit. And uh, I'm really fucking unhappy to see a mountain lion already. Your ancestors were among the first settlers to lay eyes on those hills. They could have used some powder, Jesus Christ. Hunted these woods. It's just texture now. in these streams. This land is in our and blood. The shadows took a while to do. Okay, so this time he's like. Samson Rainsford instead of, uh, other dad. Listen, boys, the wind is talking. Is it? It says, "Welcome home." All right, he might be a bit quirky, but he loves the outdoors. Please yeah. be a normal field trip. I thought I heard the wind say something about picking up a sandwich before we hump all the way out here. I don't know what passes for hunting with those yahoos in town, but up here we do things differently. Hmm. No eating, no the voice, jawing. Okay, the voice is awesome, but the voice direction, like why is it coming from my ear? Why is it not coming from that like person's like, you know, location? It shouldn't, it should, especially when he's facing toward like the outer, outer, like what do you call it? Outer vision. It should, it should come like this. The voice, not uh, you know, in in my ears from left and right. It should come from forward. And so it's help so me, if I hear that cell phone of yours go off. Oh, oh my God! I no eating allowed on this building. hunt. The story is framed that your brother Adrian is the cool, skilled hunter, and your character oh, Cole is, is the one who sucks. You've spent too long with city folk things like electricity right. and cooking, so of course Dad makes you prove yourself. Shoot some icicles. Shoot some Alaskan pineapples. What are those? Then comes Just the live practice training. with the flock of geese. Dad oh. needs to know I'm committed. <laughs> Not bad. Of course, you'll never be the marksman your brother here is. Are you really? insane? Well, I suppose that can't be helped. You favor your mother's side of the family. Shut the she fuck wasn't up, cut bitch. out for this country. Cut out for this country? Bitch! What do you mean? Oh, I expect she's more comfortable down south with her shopping malls and tofu oh salads. Oh my god. Now, what about it's you, the boy? Same fucking you turned country. vegetarian yet? <laughs> the fuck is this? I also uh, love the stare man. at the ground and shame camera work. Like, I didn't just send over a dozen geese straight back to hell. Yes. It is interesting how similar the setup is between we this game and 2013. Just Family hunting animals. trip in Alaska with your dad and brother. You're supposed to. <laughs> you need a vegetarian hunter that just kills animals. For a sport? Imagine what kind of monster is that? Just not even eating them, just fucking like a wolf. Like one of those, I mean, to be for wolves, oh yeah, wolves do that fucking sport. Bullshit, come and kill like 20 ships and then eat one? Fuck those wolves. Those wolves suck. To be the bad the hunter. Born alive it may be missing a monster alive. attack in the 80s. Fuck But we are wolves. just one bear killing dad scene away oh from almost God. completing alignment. Someone who seems However, where Jacob was allegedly wolves. just going on a fun I hunting trip, them. by the end, you're wondering what the hell Especially park rangers the actually are in this setting. Because everywhere. Jacob is a conservationist God. in the same way that Doom Guy is a conciliator. <laughs> Here, there's something immediately weird about the Rainsford family. True. My father brought me here on my 18th birthday, just as his father brought him. 
For 200 years, you just, just every talk son about of this family too? has proven his manhood by a hunter's rite of passage, oh, as was the custom of the local tribes. We've heard this story a hundred times, Pop. Don't interrupt me, boy. You listen up. Today isn't just about coal. It's about the future of this family. Oh, shit. We own the land you on, and everything you can see. With that dumbest One day, piece of shit it'll all be yours. But only if you can prove yourself worthy of that legacy. Look at it, you're talking. You can start oh by showing God. proper respect this for this weird. family's traditions. I'll make you proud, sir. Kiss ass. I swear. Bitch. Well, I have no doubt about that. Looking like a Scooby-Doo villain doesn't help his case, but his words that seem extremely is not loaded. Back What's happening should be straightforward, but with his delivery and tone, it sounds like whatever happens is out of his hands. Why is the future of the family at stake when Adrian <laughs> seems perfectly fine to carry on the mantle? Also, the family awesome. traditions are based off of copying the local tribes. If he owns the land, I'm guessing they're not around anymore. Maybe it was due to their not eating while hunting tradition, but I doubt it. So to further prove himself, Cole must but take this, down a 6x6 six six elk, at some point he also known as a royal bull elk. Well, I understand that, like, the, 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 like, you know, the vooring that comes from, like, eating on the hunting trip. Because, like, they can smell elk, like, animals. Also known as a royal bull elk. Thankfully, you can track it down with your hunter's sense, which is a- oh god. Okay, what let's talk more about playing this thing. My things. hunter's sense could be broken, but either way, classic is a lot more digestible. In theory, this helps you track down animals, which you might do two or three times. In reality, this is for finding collectibles. There are health packs and piles of ammo around, but these usually aren't too tricky to find. What is tricky is the hidden targets and the experience antlers. You do have to be fairly close to highlight these, and while it can see through Why walls, doesn't it zoom a lot in? of the marksman targets Bro. can be well, while it can- Okay, I understand that with the, uh, with fucking, what do you call it, is that uh, magnum, is it? But why, why the walls. sniper a rifle doesn't fucking- marksman targets can be well outside the useful range for yeah. this. Because why at does first it, it seems- this, this should, this should zoom out, like, especially when you- what like the you fuck? would slowly track animals with this, you know. Oh, there like we go. Hunt. Okay, but I'll say for fuck. now that it's mainly like, for item fuck? finding, and it's later becomes a lot more of a reactive darker? ability, especially when it sometimes highlights objects of interest that you don't actually do much with. Yeah, As for the other collectibles, finding enough gives you more health, and you can level up to unlock more shooting galleries. I'm only going to hunt for journals since there are extra story bits there. So those are the side activities beyond obliterating wildlife. Time that to pop the elk. Oh, yes. Oh, right, headshots. Headshots are not the ideal, because if the animal's skull is still intact, you can get a trophy, which gives a little oh. bit of extra XP and health, not a ton to really care about. But after a longer encounter with the beauty of nature, you can hold down the skull button to make all the skulls fly into your face. Oh, so shit. if you want to be tactical, break their hearts, not their minds. Okay, the so elk is dead. Okay, that's not actually bad, bro. interesting. Well, that's a clean kill. Could be you got some of me in you after all, boy. Oh. Quickly now. Okay, we need Dad. to do this fast. While Let's the blood's go. still warm. What? What? Do what? Cut the cut the neck so the animal dies Ooh. fast. It's uh, kind of gross. Gross, boy. Your that face there is, is a delicacy. Gross. Breakfast is served. Fresh elk heart. Hot. Bon appetit. Oh god, those squelching sounds. So can I try some? No, this here is Cole's heart. You'll get yours when the time comes. But you want to eat it? That's the spirit. Raw. Tastes good, don't it? I guess the older brother gets first dibs in the heart. Dad might have worms in him that helped cause the divorce. Yeah, that's um to be fair, it's an elk. But not much uh like worms in an elk. But if it's a if it's an, like wild animals, like car carnivores, those motherfuckers have a lot of worms. Be very careful. The scent of a kill can carry for yeah. miles up here. That heart's not gonna do that much to damage this bowl to the. Hung and dressed to before something there. smells. Dad, oh my God! Fucking hell! Kill it! Dad, 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 dad! Are you okay? Fuck me! It was only a matter of time with them. Are you all right, Pop? Did did did? I think. Take your Cole other just eye. Saved your life you never leave a wounded animal running loose in the woods you shoot an animal you shoot to kill come on Bob. Cole was just no excuses no exceptions you eat that cat's heart right now yeah let's go get the, the fuck divorce. 
I have to play my Game Boy Color and watch the Bulls play, when really, my heart is in nature, and I want to take nature's heart and eat it raw. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Wow, looks like you're going home with two trophies today. <laughs> this isn't nice. about trophies. Yeah, it's about a survival. A predator is a deadly serious matter. Seriously. Pain makes the beast <laughs> violent. <laughs> that got, that got, uh, it scared the bejesus out of him. Like seriously, he's he's agitated and he's like very worried. He's like, oh my god, they could have been, been killed right there. You kill them all. Unpredictable. In fact, I am reminded of every time I look in the mirror. Introspection. How come oh. you never talk about those scars, Pop? You got those in Africa, right? It appears we have uninvited guests. It's yeah. like poachers. Oh, oh god, shit. not poachers. What if they kill our animals? In fact, a lot <laughs> already seem to want us dead. <laughs> like, what the fuck are we then? Like, super hunters? You had poaching too. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> They're <laughs> all dead. I, I feel so bad. Oh, How many is so many crows yeah, were inside not that Not poachers, tent? hikers. All dead, not by mountain lion. Even Dad, whose idea of fancy living is hiding between the aisles in Home Depot, has no idea what did this. But you are free to explore on the camp for clues, which is mainly collectibles. But you can find a little note about Dad. Mark tells me the land we camped on belongs to Samson Rainsford. Well, Rainsford is something of a legend in these parts. An old school mountain man who spent half his life hunting big game in Africa. That checks out. Nothing groundbreaking there. But finding the grizzly tracks opens a lot of questions. It's a grizzly bear. No doubt about it. A grizzly? Is something wrong, Pop? Nothing. It's just... Just not what I expected. So he did know something. Actually, for his entire ancestral land spiel, he spent a lot of time in Africa. Oh, I don't think shit. the ancient tribals were taking spirit airlines to hunt across continents. <laughs> Regardless, everyone agrees yeah. the bear must die. It seems your brother doesn't agree. Except Cole, apparently. Oh, give me that look, Cole. I'm not your kid brother anymore. I can track and shoot better than you. I Need to oh be very, God, very careful here, again. bro! But before yeah, we... Yeah, like, seriously? Still, if you it's have a the problem same with that fucking Cole, shit! Feel no, free to no, 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 hike back You to don't go alone! Bro, when is, what is happening? The, these are hunters, these are supposed to be hunters. Your father's been in Africa for like eight years. I'll lodge and pack your bags. But if you walk away now, don't, don't you ever come back. What? And the stare down of shame returns. Oh, about killing Adrian the, is the one who should be doing this. Here? The guy just hears a bear, fires off his gun and causes an avalanche. This is exactly why you don't get to taste the heart, Adrian. We never <laughs> imagined that forest might be home to predators even more dangerous than ourselves. Oh no. They it's are. starting. It, it, it's always good. Like that. We are not even predators. We are just men with guns. Take that away from us. Oh we god, are Liam Neeson is right about wolves nothing. again. Everybody be cool. Be cool. The avalanche separated Cole from his Attack family it, your and knocked him down into the haunted forest. And you I don't more. mean, ah, it looks spooky and there's a full if moon. If you're 20, no. if you're 20 strong, you fucking f go, go. Don't fuck around, go. Don't give it a chance. It's like march, it's slowly together march and then make big faces and shit and scream. Uh, to be fair, the, a wolf might run from that, a bear might go and re retreat from another side and attack you from there. ...to the haunted forest. And I don't mean, ah, it looks spooky and there's a full moon. No. There are things you can't quite identify moving just out of frame, and the entire time you hear horrible ghostly wailing, which you shouldn't confuse with the sounds of the animals plotting against you. Nice. What does it expect? <laughs> oh my god. Did an entire Why is there so many monkeys? <laughs> Alaska is a stand your ground state, so watch me stand while I put you in it. At first, it's only a few skirmisher wolves who look to be protecting these stone archways. They've also borrowed oh. some of Dunlin's finest from Saruman to scout for him. And the worst part about the wolves having some scouting birds is that's not based on nothing. There have been plenty of sightings and studies of wolves and ravens cooperating in nature. They can symbiotically hunt together for a meal, which oh does make God. sense. 
Now, would they work together to defend the wolves run? <laughs> to be fair, I remember I remember the first games. <laughs> when he just bent with a car for 20 minutes exterminating anything that was in Safari. Like, yeah, so yeah. Damn vampire cast. I remember that I'm shit. having doubts about that one, especially because I can hear that it's filled with horse ghosts. What and I have had quite enough of that recently. Oh my god! Oh shit! I hate to say it, but I don't think these are normal wolves. Yeah. Even under the Cabela's definition of a normal wolf. Which are already typically acting like Polish folklore monsters. <laughs> but these yeah. ones trap you in their midnight fortress for an ambush. That wolf yeah, has no, those were glowing red, red eyes. eyes. Yeah. Viet Cong wolves are a huge problem, especially with how the audio in this game works. Like, going back to the elk hunt, at this point the elk is maybe 20 meters away from me. But it'll trigger audio that makes the elk sound like it's in your ear. But really, it's oh, nowhere near shit, that close dude. to you. Yeah. So instead of a single elk whispering sweet nothing, take that effect and apply it to an entire cohort of undead wolves. It's, it's even too deep fucking sure, you audio, can snap man. the camera towards an objective, but the slow panning doesn't work well for the wolf mosh pit. I've played this game before. Oh I'm using God. better equipment now. But good God is this still hairy. The game is older. The wolves keep coming. They're climbing over walls to kill me. They're dropping from the cliffs and the roof. When do they end? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but you might see I'm getting a lot of headshots not being an optimal hunter, but like Dad said, it's not about trophies. Thank God hunters like us are here yeah, instead of poachers. Him. Getting your shotgun <laughs> back does make things more tolerable, but they're still relentless. I will say that compared to their follow-up game, not having the gun model does weirdly make it feel better. Because there your Where gun model would roughly point okay, to where you were aiming, oh but outside God, of aim down sight, that could be really jittery and awkward. Grenade. So I don't have that issue, it's but I've still got problems. Oh. oh God, there's so many of them! <laughs> Wait for her. I feel like I'm hot sitting up playing this fucking game. Yes, there we go. Oh, now eat them and become a verbal. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, <laughs> now you escape Wolf Sylvania and why is yeah, there screen shake? Oh my god, fuck off! It's not even that big. Why was there screen shake for that? It's just like Yamamoto said. Yeah. Behind every blade of grass, a mountain lion. And while I'm trying not to get murdered, I'm finding the journals of those who came before, and they also point to something supernatural happening. Heart New shot. Sound oh, heart night. shot! A strange high-pitched noise, like a whistle. It says right. Mark said it was just a bird, but I'm pretty sure he's lying. A now bird? I get to wonder, while crossing the barely stable frozen creek, if it was them or the wolves who set up the 800 bear traps. I'm gonna guess the animals because these have not slowed down the wildlife yeah, at all. You would need too. actual landmines to deal with this wolf population. It looks like the birds might be setting them up in front of me. Am I going crazy? It's hard to keep focus while watching out for birds and bear traps. Meanwhile, the cougars and wolves are honorably <laughs> having sound in the woods for the honor of fighting you on I fell. I don't even want to be here. I've lost everyone. It's dark, and I have no idea where I am. I should have stayed behind to help the others, but... When I heard the screams, I, I panicked. I keep hearing that whistle. What could Who's... be making the whistle? What is... A new animal? Is Dad behind it? At this point in the timeline, the Black Lion Emperor... I have no idea what that whistle. What could be making the whistle? Is it bird? A new animal? Is Dad behind it? At this point in the timeline, the Black Lion Emperor would still be alive, but he's in Africa. The only Alaskan mastermind was... Ouch! Oh, this is making sense now. This could be the grizzly bear from 2013. Even in that game's flashback sequences, the bear is already scarred. That could be from when he was sent here to subdue the wolves. We oh. could be seeing that happening live, but the whistle sound implies that whoever's doing this has control over them. Though it's more likely the bear started punishing them for their failure, as we've seen him do before, and that whole thing went a little bit sour. Also, chronologically, this is yeah. two years before Jacob's Too first son, so the wildlife should be at or close to max strength since it's right before he showed up. That should be obvious by the way the elk are trying to distract me as the wolves move in. I love the animation. Oh my god! Punch it in the nose. Wolves love their nose. That was the yeah. control? Best thing when you attack in, I mean, a dog, a bear, doesn't matter. Eyes and the nose. Nose is the most important. Their nose is basically 80% of their bodies existence if you touch it it's basically is like punching them in the balls 
So yeah, the nose. Attack whistle. the nose if Who it's has attacking the you. If it doesn't attack, you just hit the pub. I fucking knew it. Wow. And he doesn't have the scar yet. And I know I'm biased, like fine, but this game is making a lot more sense played after 2013. At least when it comes to having nice prequel right, reveals. Jihadi, As for Holy the actual shit. boss fight, there's nothing to write home about. It's fun to try and drop icicles on him, but apparently he's a Primaris grizzly bear. He shrugs off smizzy? shell after shell after rifle round like it's nothing. It's mainly Heart just of staying steel. out of his way and slowly whittling him down. I did shoot him in the face a lot, but it did take me by surprise when it seemed like I actually killed him. But before you can confirm the kill, your brother shows up. Bro, that was unbelievable! I just got here. Um, I wanted to help, but I couldn't get a clear stay, shot. Stay here! Don't Dude, fucking right? back to the turf! Yeah, completely Cunt. correct. Come here! Like come here! Struggle, come man. here! Oh my you god, I'm so bored. Don't the try to talk. Is. You can tell me about it back at the house. Probably. Yeah, I will. I haven't seen come next to me, son. I don't know where Brother, you... please. Did you hear that? My love. The bear's not dead. Oh, He's calling no. for backup. Oh my god, the bell screw! Oh god! He was. Oh! Ah, my throat! Oh no! <laughs> Goodbye! That was a shockingly calm wolf devouring scene. Yeah, it's like. Um... <laughs> what the fuck? And then it shows you the progress of victory. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, but brother killed. Kill. But yeah, look how much XP you got, guy. Like, go, let's go. It's fucking weird, man. Ten years passed. My father and I hardly spoke. Neither of us willing to forgive the other or ourselves for Adrian's death. Wait a second. My father retired to live in seclusion on his private game reserve in Uganda. Well, I made a name for myself as a professional hunter. It's really all a remix. Special yeah, Alaskan Family the Hunt, Dad and Two Brothers. One quote-unquote rookie hunter, and the other determined hunter. In one story, Dad dies by bear, one brother exactly becomes a same. game hunter. In this story, a brother technically dies by bear, of your just action. Basically, the consequences brother of, becomes big game. The consequences of your action in the first, what do you call it, uh, the flashback, makes the rest of the stories plot, Hunter. basically. Both families reunite in Uganda ten years later for a special hunt. But 2013 had this detail. A safari in Uganda? I make it out every year for my dad's birthday. It was his favorite place to hunt when he was younger. He died before they opened it up again. So oh. his dad died in 2003, but by 2011, it was opened back up for a new hunt. This all lines up so far, but why was Uganda closed down? There is a reason also, it was closed. Samson Rainsford retired here? Population of so much for the hardcore legacy of the high. Alaskan lands. Though if one thing can shake your resolve, the death of your kid would do it. After ten years without a word, <laughs> oh my, my father reached out to me. Soon, we would hunt together again. But how the f how old is your father? Your father looked 80 when you were hunting. 10 years, he died, and after 10 years, he called? It's Not like for sport 100. this time, Revengeance. but for redemption. But how? The bear is alive, but wounded in Alaska. Actually, no, Jacob's dad killed it in 2003. It's been 10 Does years, that man. mean that Samson knows about the Ugandan Ancient Ones and how things work? Because redemption sounds it's like targeting the culprit. Good to see you, Cole. It's been what? Ten years? Too long for a father and to the be deprived of company of his only the, son. The fucking wolves did kill the bra. Uh, I see you still have few words the for your old man. Idiot. Sorry I can't about blame the, uh, you. Ginger Some wounds take more than time to heal. I'm glad you came anyway. Dad, you're There's no one I'd rather have at my side on this hunt. Is <laughs> it maybe... actually moving? I think being Becky here. No, it's not. Actually, I, I, Dad seems much. to have chilled out a lot. Maybe redemption is just a healthy relationship with his father because he didn't have that before. I've hunted all over the world. I've seen terrible things: man eaters, predators driven mad by hunger and disease. But I have never seen anything like what's happening where we're headed. Never mind. The attacks began a few weeks ago. Whole yeah, families he, he carried off in the night. Nobody knows what's doing the killing. Some say it's a pride of lions, Poor driven wolves. to desperation by disease or drought. And Becky here doesn't buy that theory. I reckon I don't either. Honestly, I don't see why not. Make no mistake, son. These beasts we're hunting are pure evil. They said it? I know what you're thinking. Words like good and evil have no place in the natural world. And you'd be right about that. They do. No, no, they, they do. They fucking do. Some animals are absolute animals. <laughs> Some animals are absolute evil. Like, you know, they do some weird fucked up shit.
they come and eat inside of other animals and then they put eggs inside them. What the fuck? Get out! Get out! I don't want that animal existing. That's so stupidly evil. There ain't nothing natural about this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat the inside of your oh existence. I'm gonna Uganda. put eggs in your brain. Fuck you, animal. man! What a shit show. I am proud of the no. game for just admitting the animals are it's evil. Good if you evil. hadn't played this, 2013 really made you fill in the blanks to... That was a bat sound effect. Oh Having god. Having the wasn't enough, the birds have to be vampiric too? Dogs are pure good. Pure evil. And good. We are the evil. They're running! They basically... Oh my god, that poor piggy! <laughs> Alright, I'm getting into it. Oh, crocodile and tiger fuckers! Snake, let's go, bro. Let's go, Pixels. Pixels are fucking Jesus Christ. Those are mountain lions? No, they have sprites. Oh my god, they hit the fuckery. Yes. <laughs> Is the music. Oh How my god, the lion. How did Jacob have any left? <laughs> Oh yes, let's go. <laughs> okay. If you could have gotten a tactical bar, oh my god! <laughs> if we would have gotten a tactical, the dad okay. would have used it. I made it to the ranger station, Someone and there are more notes it. discussing that the animals might be acting strangely. One of the most troubling aspects of this case concerns the ineffectiveness of traps and poisons against these oh, mysterious predators. So it's as though these animals have learned to recognize and avoid such traps by sight. Oh, let's step back for a moment. Go to snow. While it is probably more linear than it lets on, the river delta feels sprawling. You can choose. No, that's let's not step how back it for is. A moment. As that's so. Um, to be fair, that one, that one dodged, but you, they usually are succeed in that, and they go, bro. They go and spin around and take the head off. This this motherfuckers are. Brutal. Be very careful near rivers. It's murky, While it is bro. probably more linear than it lets on, the river delta feels sprawling. I you can choose one between multiple take a head off. points, it's but both will probably an have animal, snakes not and or crocodiles. This makes it one of the most useful sections to actually use hunter sense in. They're still gonna spray venom in your eyes, just less often. Plus, there are times where hunter sense flat out will not work. Even staring directly at the oh footage my God, now, bear. it's still just a blur of being what ambushed. The fuck I'm are amazed you? they're singling out lions when every animal here wants mankind dead. The level design doesn't have much of a, this is the designated whatever animal zone. It's unpredictable what you'll run into, which does keep things tense. Hmm. He's putting his paw in the glove box. It's already Dead extremely now. chaotic, but the game also has a sadistic streak. They're fully aware that you want to leave no animal alive, so they have some points where they do spawn forever. You can farm them for XP oh. endlessly, but that's what they want. To drain your ammo away for the lions. Or for whatever other animal. Oh, infinite. No. Oh, you have infinite. No, that's a trick. Animal, like... It is a death march. Oh, like the ideal seven. Safari. Oh, that's When so you cool. finally get to a radio to Getting contact all the Dad, the he says keep going. Link up again with Mbeki and keep heading to Dad's house. For the More first time since like the day Adrian died, I was no longer certain of my own place at the top of the food chain. The grasslands are... it's more of the same. But while on the trail, you get Mbeki's insights. I stopped the villagers from attacking a woman. They said the woman was a witch, and that she had summoned a dark creature called the Kaftar to prey upon them. I remember my grandfather speaking of the Kaftar when I was a child. You know what? Sure. It's a what demon. The, the Black Lion Emperor being a literal demon would explain so much. But Mbeki says this is called the Kaftar, the same creature he brought up in the intro, which is not the lion. This has thrown a wrench into me following the story. What Last night I saw these creatures with my own eyes. They came from the savannah like shadows in the dark. Before I could fire, shadows. I heard a strange whistling sound and the beasts fled as one. The villagers are right. Evil forces are at work here. Oh, Obviously, the bear was still alive in Alaska, and maybe he did do the whistle there. But Jacob's dad blasted him in 2003, so he couldn't be doing the whistle here. It could be the whistle is some kind of power the Emperor Lion can pass on, but I'm not sure yet. But Mbeki knows what's going on. Oh! The villagers are burning the savannah. They believe that the attacks on their families are the work of a Holy demon, shit, the texture the resolution! They say the Kaftar is a shapeshifter, half man, half beast. Like a werewolf. Only Very. much worse. Then the locals seem to have the right idea. I see in your eyes you do not believe in such things as demons. But I ask you, what animal kills for pleasure? 
Everybody. Even the famous lions of Savo were driven to kill by Bones, hunger, but lions, these beasts leave that. the bodies of the dead where they fall. I'll level with you and Becky. There's other reasons I agree it's a demon. What is more frightening? The thought of a beast with the mind of a man, or a man with the soul of a beast. Ah. Oh my god! A beast the with the soul of a man is more than. And then Becky needs antibiotics. It's up to Cole to get him a ride. Oh my god! They did want my decals. Oh they love cars. shit, yeah! Maybe I should have played Fucking this first. I, I don't know anymore. Was... Whose truck is this, anyway? Poachers using the fires to cover their tracks. How? How are there still poachers? Does it even count as poaching if the rare animal's are running five miles to, be to fair, bite you? Let them poach, this is a high fucker. caliber exorcism. Let them who cares Bro, about Who gives a shit? The destroyed majority of this populace. What the fuck? Who gives a fuck? Let them poach. The moral high ground. But now the poachers are after us, so I guess we can have a little car chase. Oh my god, they're after us? What the fuck is video? They're doing the same thing again. Oh my fuck. Wait, wait, this isn't right. We, we did this already. You can't even shoot the poachers. Oh god, this console was not meant for this kind of action. <laughs> Why isn't Becky's microphone so much worse? Oh, like and this an is on console, that makes so much stampede. sense that takes you a little bit shit. Bad feeling about this. Watch out! Why is it all happening music, again? Dude. It even has the part where you almost fall out of the car, but no deagle this time. It runs badly, and they did the sequence better in the next game, so why stick around? Make them move! <laughs> Make them move! We're just... Oh my god! <coughs> oh, they reused the Rhino fight too. This doesn't matter. But hey, and Becky's gonna be okay. The friend I spoke of before, you are much like him. Yeah. All right, My friend died a long time ago, but his spirit lives on in you. Oh, you shit! You not have come to Africa. I would not see you fall victim to the same curse that destroyed your father. Go home. Are you the you monster? Here by death. Now that opened a lot, and the night drags on, and there's an apocalyptic fishing, tone bro. to everything. The full moon is back, just like the night Cole's brother died. And Becky's friend was the one who died in the cave in the start, and you played that character. His spirit living on in you is 100% true. You are him, but is the curse in your father also literal? Like, is he a werewolf? Or could he mean curse as in it ruined his life? Or are there more we haven't seen it in and a full moon the yet. Fire, it's not slowing down the animals much. If anything, there seem to be even more. I could swear their aggression has gone up too because oh, look oh, at this river of oh, oh, Maybe the Kaftar is over. threatened and this is a better defense. Bro, However, if that the comes Kaftar back is also a, a shapeshifter. The animal, it could be hiding as any die. animal or any one. Who was whistling on the mountain that night? There might be a connection in plain sight. I give 2011 credit. It has the actual atmosphere of a good horror game. Holy shit, that's actually beautiful. Jesus, this is awesome. It's like one of Fallout's jungle or something. And sure, it's it'll so always good. lead to some animal jumping on you. It still makes me sad that they don't make these anymore. We do have more realistic and more fantastical hunting games, but none that blurred the line quite like Cabela's did. It's a company that sells fishing gear, and they have an official game where you fight an ancient demon in Africa. This doesn't seem like the kind of plot its clientele would be invested in, but I sure am, especially since in Becky's journals only get more deranged. The destruction will be terrible, but we have no choice. We must act now before we are all dead. By the time you catch up to him, it's daybreak, oh. he's still wounded, or wounded again, and, he, and his hiding spot looks guy. like an old military base. Out here in the middle of nowhere where there's a demon rumor. The demon soldiers rumor. were long Just gone. A Just a rumor, bro. But as I would soon discover, a new army had emerged from the jungle to take their place. The fuck what? does that mean? <laughs> what? This is where I first <laughs> what do you mean the new army? Years ago. It was a secret place, an evil place. We should have burned it to the ground. Why am I getting a military rifle in this level? Oh. You seek the truth. Perhaps you will find it here among the bones of the dead. I'm really not liking this talk, and Becky. They call it the Nightfall Program, a covert research project. They say they're here to study animal behavior modification, breeding, training, chemical conditioning. 
apparently called transition. That's what on earth are they training out here? Say, More dude. evil wolves Fuck or big cats? What? What? So many bamboos. It's so obvious now. Of course it's this. Careful now, the baboons have learned to throw rocks with deadly accuracy. Look for cover in the courtyard. I mean, they were actively jamming me in the 2013 game. Yeah. <laughs> I really should have sniffed out the baboon super they soldier EMP. project. They've mastered small unit tactics oh, and try to suppress you as other baboons flank. Also, what kind of baboons are these? They're horrifying. The baboons are horrifying. These are actually way chiller than the baboons we got before. Baboons come down to you, grab your gun, put it in your ass, and then take your arms off and put it in your mouth. That's how strong a baboon is. These are not baboons. These are baby baboons. But these are creepers, baboons. Was that Cole's breathing at low health that sounded like a monster? Or was that just the animal audio being badly placed again? Whatever, this is what I wanted. Baboon Waco. Like, seriously, this is not baboon. Oh god. Oh shit. Maybe. Oh! Okay. The Probably. best part is it gets way worse inside the base. People Ooh. bought this game for their grandpa. Well, my grandpa is gonna have a Okay, but, oh my god, that I'm is terrifying. I'm genuinely lost for words here. Like, what human being can give justice to the baboon holdout firefight while the soundtrack actually uses military-style drums? But why? The open was better. It's the fact it's so well done. I think that's the key. Like someone at Cabela's corporate said super soldier baboons, but no one was smiling or laughing. <laughs> someone in the C-suite had this as an actual recurring nightmare and wanted to do it justice. The downtime sounds like exploring in a Fallout. Yo, yo, having a nightmare and making like a level out of it is usually you get the best levels with that, bro. That's probably some of Kojima's knowledge coming from weird shit like that. wanted to do that. it justice. The downtime sounds like exploring in a Fallout it's game. Nightmares. Yes, bullets, bullets. The only phrase that keeps going through my brain is, why baboons? The baboon king would still be alive, so maybe he sent them here to raid the armory. Um, is that He's a got an audio log. Recorder? Just gotta catch up with him and I ah! No, no, he was recording! He was recording for the commander! Oh, wow, he's here, he's here, he's coming! There Some he is! Like oh, well, never mind, he's destroyed. He killed it. Dumbass. The baboon super soldier base is full of landmines. Are they for the baboons? <laughs> this is the iconic don't die by landmines or baboons section, and landmines are the trickier one, because if they chain react or you step wrong, you'll die fast. The thing is, you can't sneak through them, you have to blow some up. Huh. It's also not clear which government set up the baboon ammo. base. I would guess Uganda, but maybe yeah, the American Illuminati or something is involved and I just missed it. Whoever they were, they hired Samson and Mbeki to capture the Kaftar. At this point, I think you have to conclude it's real. Locals say it's some kind of demon. As far as I can tell, we're hunting a new breed of hyena. We had no idea uh, who was waiting for us in that uh, cave. No. After that, the program went off the rails. The research staff lost control. People started dying. They called in soldiers, oh. but it was already too late. The loading screen undersold it. The baboons they, actually conquered this army base, this. and no one could reclaim it for 30 years. Oh it's my understandable God. since there are lion hurricanes outside and highly trained baboons inside, but it could be the government buried this project under the floorboards and never wanted to speak bro. of it again. Then oh, they geez. all charge him Becky. Maybe they remember him from the 80s or they were taught about him. Now he's dying of big cat infection and baboon scratches and demon well, energy and he has taken a lot. A Your father ordered me to bring you to him but after what you did for me my conscience would not permit it i came here to kill the kaftar myself beware go the creature devoured your father's heart the evil lives on in his blood the only cure is death. 
The only cure is death. This is some roided up hyena. Big ass I've gotta key. get down there and finish this. As I stepped into the yawning mouth of the cave, I heard a sound like the laughter of devils echoing in the bowels of hell. Oh my god. I could feel eyes watching me from the darkness. Of devils. Though whether it was my father's it, gaze I felt. Or the eyes of the beast. This is actually fucking good. I will never know. Looking back, there have been some interesting running themes. And Becky said Samson's heart and very blood were cursed. In the start of the game, he had Cole eat a heart. Eating Elkhart wouldn't be that uncommon up there. Eating it raw certainly is. Even raw liver yeah. is fairly risky. There's something ritual. Liver. We we eat liver raw. I so we not anymore. Sheep liver. Like sheep liver is absolutely pr pr delicacy. If you if you eat it slightly raw, but at the same time we um we kebab it on the fire. Sick about the whole thing in a way that doesn't check out for just the oh the hyena ruined your like dad's that. life. Not to mention, fry... the kaftar is an actual uh, cryptid, pot. but the legend comes from India and not Africa, though the series isn't known for putting animals where they should be. Also, how is Mbeki protect though the- That is a Kufi writing. And Rafinesh and fra and Fravnish Kanta. Oh my god, that's so difficult to read, it's so blurry. Kafadu Kubida Nali Tobashat. What the fuck is this language? Mafere Gusht Mukhalefa Tajamal Haywanat. This seems to be maybe Aba Injan of Khast U as Kifishan Bala Ista Debashat. What the fuck? Mahtab? This is Persian. Or maybe Afghani? The series isn't known for putting animals where they should be. Also, how is Mbeki protecting Cole by knocking him out in this war zone full of poachers and animals and wildfires? Very he does old. respect Samson, and now Cole for helping him, but I think Mbeki planned to kill Cole, but couldn't do it when the time came. Probably Samson, too. He speaks very literally about everything, and I don't think he'd turn that off just to make an observation on your family. The spirit of Mbeki's old friend is in your body, and your father is cursed and may have already passed it along to you. I think he was out to take down everybody when he got the chance, but then got cold feet. Whether it was out of mercy or fear, we'll never know. Welcome home, son. It's been too long since we hunted together. You're looting tons of ammo and blasting through old bunker doors. And all the while, There's you can find the records there. of the military studying the Kaftar. They don't know if it's an aberrant or a long-lost species, but it can control other animals. That does explain the swarms of bats have to gun down with an assault rifle. This thing is relentless. My only question is who gave who the animal control ability? The Black Lion Emperor, or whatever this hyena is. The cave paintings the hunters discovered Fuck suggest you. the Kaftar species has inhabited this Next area for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. That's not that long at all. Lovely. Is okay. it tied it's to a biblical a event? You were the eldest, but you were weak. Untested. Don't you see? I needed an heir worthy of our family name. Did Dad kill Adrian because he was oh younger? What's God. happening? What I loved your brother, Cole. I want you to know that. I never meant for Adrian to get hurt. I wanted to see my boys forged into men. As I was forged. And my father before me. By Wait, a did you fucking... Blood. I've got to admit, even after playing 2013, I didn't expect a baboon super soldier facility that immediately leads to Dagoth Ur speeches from your father. The cave system is covered in paintings and markings, but no stone structures, so I don't know if this is the ancient ones from before either. Should I shut them? I thought the wrong son died that day. Could be I was wrong about that. So he didn't kill him. Interesting. It all comes full circle, back and to the bone the zone from the very start. But what now the, the paintings fuck? are obvious. They depict the hyena demon controlling the wildlife. There was always a method behind the madness. I never thought you'd make it this far. I can see now. I've been wrong about a lot of things. I should have listened to him, Becky. He, he told me I'd lost my mind. All you these did. years, planning, preparing for this day. And now Why? that you're finally here, I can't bear to watch another son die. It's time for you to go, son. Before it's too late. Come on, I'll show you the way out. Were they gonna hunt the Kaftar together, or was oh, Samson shit. going to do something to Cole? The years of planning could mean he was training his entire family to come kill this thing, and all the Alaskan tribal connection was just a- Or... Or he is the one. And he wanted to kill you. Or fight... 
fight with you so maybe one of you get the abilities or some weird shit and he doesn't want to do that he wants to break the circle because he was far he keeps saying that shit he his father and his father before him shit Smoke like that screen. but the elk like blood ritual seemed important that couldn't treaters. just be set dressing I know I wasn't the father you wanted. Okay, Dad. I need not you now. Know. Look front and a flashlight, maybe. Of the man um. you have. Oh my God! Fucking baboon landmines. That mines. is the lamest thing ever. The beast is real, boy. I know you don't believe. I didn't believe it either. But it's real. As real as you or me. It's close now. Can you feel it? When it's done with me. Yeah. Here we go. Oh shit! Oh, this is so good. Oh my oh, god, it's so. It was so... a normal hyena the whole time. Yeah, yeah, Bet yeah. they feel silly. Okay, it's actually a horde of hyenas. They could be the Kaftar's harem, but I'm not entirely yeah. sure hyenas work that way. And frankly, the less I know about how hyenas mate, the better my life is. Yeah, it's a don't. gauntlet of landmines and pissed off hyenas. And even though pacing-wise, this feels like are. finishing things, it won't be the end of the story. I've arranged for one of the hunters, an American named Rainsford, to smuggle some of my files Rainsford. out of the country. With that data, I should be able to resurrect the program at a later date. Excuse me. We what? knew this we... wouldn't end things, but 2013 won't be the last safari. I stepped through the trap door and emerged in the hall of my father's house. Shit. In that moment, I felt a strange mixture of horror and relief. My worst fears had been realized, but I knew then that I had finally reached the end of my journey. One way or another, the nightmare would soon be over. Oh, shit. There is something poetic about fighting it among all of Dad's taxidermied animals. Was it Dad or the Kaftar that really killed them? Maybe they're under the Dad. Kaftar's influence, or maybe it's a response to the human presence in the area. For how much is explained, a lot is still left open. It's a fitting final battle, but not the most exciting. I mean, for all that demon hyping up, it looks like a big albino hyena. But after a long hunt, we've reached the end. I wish it had some special abilities. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Why does he look so similar oh to Jacob? God. He could pass for his brother and the photo looks even more like him. Is the Kaftar not physical? I that's the end of the game. No, he... It's not he, as over-the-top action-packed as 2013, that face but it makes me fear that game fuck, even dude. more, and I feel like I understand even less than I did. Does the universe choose a Kaftar and Safari Hunter to endlessly circle each other forever? One Master Hunter versus but one Master of like Nature until the end Kaftar. of time. Is I honestly don't same, know, but... There might that be wasn't even the Kaftar the previous game. In fact, I've run game. numbers, I mean, and the, the there are too many game. adventure games just to cover them on Halloween. It won't be all the that time, you, but you there's too many to talk about and more have to come. <laughs> have a happy story. Halloween. I hope I didn't miss something. <laughs> no, that was awesome. That was actually awesome. I really loved it. And in my opinion, it had more vigor than the first game. But the first game had that fucking road thingy than the... <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. <laughs> that fucking pissed. When you make a, a, a first person game, bro, that's like. <laughs> make a stupid face in first person and you're never gonna look at it. Why are you even making faces in first person games and you're not gonna look at the face at all? Oh, because we, in the menu we do, like, so fun. Fucking kid from the <laughs> Oh actually I love this. I love this. Holy shit, that dude. Oh, this is G genius. Thank you. Holy shit, this is awesome. Lovely. Nice Photoshop work. Oh art. Oh never mind, but it sneak sucks. Lovely. Will there be a dark yeah. tide video? There will be more Warhammer videos in Dark general Tide, in Warhammer. Oh, There's a lot of interesting shit. games to cover there still, but I definitely needed a cleanser from it. Favorite scary moment in a non-horror game? If it's not a section or level in just a moment, then this one. Oh, fuck that. What is That's the worst Halloween candy? Easy. Wax lips. Even an Easter treat like Peeps that I- Bro, you know what's the scariest game in a- 
there, there was a pink panther game that I was a child playing there was this fucking flower there was this fucking flower that would eat you literally eat you at one shot that shit scared the shit out of me so yeah I would I would just let, uh, let my uncle beat it and then I would play afterwards that 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 thing was probably the most scariest thing I ever watched uh, or at least played that thing would eat you and one shot you and then you had to go in like behind the bombs so the thing would eat the bombs and shit. Oh my Hate god. Pink Panther I was can awesome. kind of get? Who on the planet is asking for wax lips? Nobody, that's who. Would I move to Silent Hill or Ravenholm? Without a doubt, Ravenholm. What? I know what I'm in for there. I don't know the details Ravenholm. of what to expect from Silent Hill, but I know it won't be a great Silent time. Any dead. horror movie or game that scarred me as a kid. Some of you know the alien dead story, but too. there were other factors with that one. The best Fuck answer no. is an obscure made-for-TV movie called Peter Benchley's Creature. I had nightmares for weeks about sharks dropping down from trees to get me, and Cabela's hasn't what? delivered that experience just yet. Who knows? Maybe these games get some kind of spiritual successor. <laughs> sharks dropping! You are a cult of yes. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <laughs> that was it. Bro, this game, this game, <laughs> I don't, I don't mind killing animals, but just animals, that's stupid. But at the same time, I understand it. The previous game looked better. This game has a better story, in my opinion. At least the first, uh, last part was so fucking intense and actually mysterious. The mystery was brewing because was it a father? Was the curse? The person who was telling us about it was it because the, the dialogue kept looping us around that who is the curse and of course it was the the hyena hybrid weird thing. But yes, thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and see you all later.